approaches these French wineries, tells them about how he's done it at Giscourt, or Rothschild, or et cetera. And they go, really? You know, maybe maybe we should. And, and mean this, you mean Jewish people, these kosher people really want this good stuff? <laughs> he goes, yeah, are you kidding me? And <laughs> and and they but and they want your stuff, Mr. Giscourt, and they want your stuff, Mr. Les Combs, but they can't have it because you're not certified. But I'll take care of that for you and we'll do everything. You don't have to do a thing. You uh-huh. know? Just give us access. It's not true. They have to do a lot because they have to give up a lot of control. Hmm. You know, with wine, unlike food, and I, I have this discussion all the time, unlike food where it's ingredients based, this is all handling. Hmm. But these winemakers really love to handle their own wine. And now they have to give up all that handling to these this group of payist, white shirted, black suited, <laughs> you know, frummies. But yeah. they are so wonderful and they're so hmm. um you know, they've got such great work ethic that, that you know, they're not the kind of mashkicha that sit back and go, okay, do this, do that. You know, they really yeah. are hands-on. They love their wine. They love working with these people. Uh, that, you know, I had one, I interviewed the the the, the Mancal, the general manager, the head, head honcho at Las Combes. And I said to him, and we were there, obviously, for the whole kosher thing and to ask him about the kosher and how he got into it, blah, blah, blah. And he said, you know, this year, the, the kosher Les Combs is better than ours, better than the non-kosher. And I said, <laughs> dear sir, you know, you're on camera. He said, yes. So I said, do you mind if I actually publish that? He said, no problem. It's a truth. So <laughs> the point is, is that, you know, the, the lots that we take because these lots have to be separated even into by barrel because they can't be mixed in with the non-kosher. Yeah. So, so um, it doesn't always turn out that way. It turned out that way that year. Uh, but my point really is, is that, you know, it's just like they want to reach the Japanese market and they want to reach the fine schmeckers at the, in the India, in India. And they, and now, you know, uh, Menachem Israeliovich has has shown them that there's a really fine wine drinker in the kosher consumer and a group of them. And so they want to reach them too. That's what it's all about. So, so is this initially driven or led by kosher agencies or royal? Like who how no, does that dance by, work? By royal, by, oh, it by is by royal. The wine people.